was just trying to help a man get back on his feet. Instead, a man from Dallas was shot twice and nearly killed. Our Jeff Paul, live with the story you will see only here on CBS 11. Well, yeah, Kaylee, Dallas police tell us detectives are still searching for the man they believe pulled the trigger. They tell us that he was asked to leave the victim's home, but instead returned just 10 minutes later and started shooting. Okay, this is the first bullet wound. The shot hit just centimeters from Justin Wern's lung and remains there. I've got two bullet holes here, one on the top and one on the bottom. And that was just the first bullet. And I do remember opening the door and just seeing the gun and being like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get shot. Wern was shot in the chest and then in the arm where the bullet exited through his elbow. But I know I'm very lucky uh, to be alive. Police are now looking for this man, Tyreek Powell. And maybe he just got mad because I wasn't giving him what he wanted anymore, you know, no money, no food, no place to stay. Warren spent his 20s as a drug addict where he says he hurt those close to him. Now he's eight years sober and tries to help others he sees going down the same troubled path he once traveled. He believes Powell was one of those people. I don't really want to have anybody else that I'm friends with try to go through that. Warren is a chef and met Powell through work. He offered to help Powell, but when Wern noticed Powell wasn't living a positive life, he wouldn't let him stay at his house anymore. That's when investigators say Powell returned to Wern's house and shot him. I feel more sorry for him that he felt like this was necessary, but I mean, it's not going to stop me from still, you know, talking to people. Wern, unable to work right now, has many months of recovery ahead of him. As for forgiving the man accused of shooting him, who he once tried helping? I don't know. I guess I would. I just. I just want him to learn from his mistakes, and unfortunately, it's probably not going to be a good lesson that he learned. Now, Dallas police tonight tell us there's currently a warrant out for Powell's arrest on a charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Meanwhile, the family of the victim has set up a GoFundMe. We have that link on our website. Reporting live here in Dallas, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.